<laughs> the French light gun game. Real guns are strictly for morons only. They're expensive, they're extremely dangerous, and they're not compatible with any games. But for the more refined individuals of our society, the intellectual, you have the light gun. Ah, yes, the NES Zapper, the Master System Light Phaser, the 1987 Atari XG1, the voice-activated Konami Laser Scope that you aim with your head, the Super Scope, the Sega Menacer, the Silent Scope, the G-Con 45, the Dream Blaster, the Wii Zapper, the Sega Saturn Stunner. But what about the greatest light gun of all? Keyboard. The House of the Dead. 2 is one of the most famous light gun games that isn't Duck Hunt. If you've ever been to an arcade or a movie theater, you've probably seen this game. But somewhere along the way, a mastermind stepped into the equation. The Typing of the Dead Yes, they turned a light gun zombie shooting game into a typing game. And you want to know how you know it's real? because it's made by Sega. Now the original arcade cabinet, you have the red and blue guns. For typing of the dead, however, you have two Dreamcast keyboards because the people who make this are a fucking genius. The only thing weirder than this game existing is that it's actually really fun. Smashing out words on the keyboard gives it almost machine gun-like feedback that syncs up beautifully with the action on screen. The game is like, hey, type my daddy as a plastic surgeon, and I go, and the zombie blows up and it's badass. While most of the story and gameplay is kept intact, there are a few changes, like how your guy has a Dreamcast on his back hooked up to a giant AA battery. That, that part is different. Also, instead of guns, all of the characters have keyboards instead, because this game is a f masterpiece. But ain't nobody give a shit about a dumbass typing game made by some fucker. You do not play this game for the game. You play this game for the voice acting. <laughs> It's like they're inviting me in. No matter how intense, no matter how insane the scenario the characters are in, the voice actors never lose their cool. I don't want to die. My God. This man has zombies attacking him while driving his car at full speed, and you shoot the zombies off and he goes, Thank you for rescuing me. This guy is screaming. He is about to get murdered by a zombie. Thank you for rescuing me. And then there's Goldman. The actor for Goldman is one of the all-time greatest character actors to ever grace the screen. Every time he speaks, the entire arcade goes silent, and everyone's eyes lock onto the screen. I've been waiting for you, friends. Goldman! Do you know what you're doing? I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. Can't you see? To protect the life cycle. To protect the life cycle. Such a powerful scene. Then Goldman gets up. This is the final battle! You fight like a dumbass robot beaver or some shit? Goldman! Friends, it is not over yet. Is that all you have to say? In time, a successor will come. Farewell, friends. Now, in the original game, Goldman jumps off the roof and dies. But in Typing of the Dead, you get the alternative ending, where this happens. Farewell, friends. And don't even get me started on Pinball of the Dead.